Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why a lot of Magic the Gathering YouTubers are leaving. Milo, who is one of my good friends on YouTube, is leaving. Um, his channel is excellent. I would definitely tell you to check it out, but you know, he had over 10,000 subscribers and he just chose to leave. And I know why he chose to do it because it's the same things that I think about as well. So making YouTube videos on Magic the Gathering is kind of like you know you're making videos on a topic that is not like Pokemon, not like Yu-Gi-Oh, not like Card Fight Vanguard even, not like... Um... And the reason it's not like that is the expenses. If you are going to open packs or boosters or do the Patreon the way I do it, um, higher commission artwork, that is very, very, very expensive and you're not going to make money. I think when I calculated it, I'm calculating the cost of all this stuff and I know I lost money. It's just a question of how much money did I lose from making a Magic Gathering YouTube channel. A lot of you think that somehow you make money. You do not make money. Um, I, at least I personally do not make money from Magic the Gathering YouTube. And it's something that you know I have to look at financially. So I just purchased a very large home, uh, 4,080 square feet. So it is a four bedroom, four bath. And definitely if you, if we ever have another GP Houston, I'll throw like a really cool party because I do like throwing parties at my homes. Anyway, uh, it's, you know, that took a long time. It took two weeks of working with my mortgage banker, working with, um, the title people working with all these the seller, the agents, the real estate agents, and that took a large toll on me personally because it's a long process. It's a 45 day process with Chase to get your mortgage approved and it finally it was approved, but then the seller has some issues on uh, his side, her side. Um, there was a, it was a couple. And I love the home. I just fell in love with the home. I really wanted the home so badly. And now I have keys in the garage door opener, but because everything got pushed back, my painter couldn't go in and he's gonna go in Tuesday, which is four days out. Anyway, I have to get a painter. I actually was talking to Ashley Froberg about, uh, I think your brother is a interior designer, which is really cool. And I am looking for one of them. So if you do know a interior designer in Houston, that would help me quite a bit because I don't have any furniture now. Um, buying the home as well as some other stuff I'm not gonna get into, it does create a lot of stress on my current uh, relationship and that takes a toll on me too. So when people you know, ask on YouTube, it's like they assume that making these videos are super easy and you have a lot of time for it. But in fact, you have a real life, right? You have a real job. This is not my job. I have a real job. And my job as an artist is really tough. Um, it's not the best economic conditions in Houston to be an artist right now. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I wanted, I wanted this home because um, I will give you a tour of it when it's totally decorated, totally. Um, I probably would do a goodbye tour of the current place I'm at because it's also a very nice place, but this place is amazing. It has, you know, a lot of sunlight. I actually turned on electricity, but then the water, I had to wait for Monday, and the gas, I had to wait for Monday. Internet, there's no reason for me to get internet right now because I need to get, get painters, then I need then to paint inside, outside, then I need to get an interior decorator to choose furniture for me because I'm really bad at that. Um, and my sniffing udder is pretty much not good at that either. And and when we look at the finance, it's just very, I wanted to make this video because when Milo, Milo left and I was relatively close to Milo when you look at the other YouTubers uh, who I'm not close with most of them at all, it, I understood why he left. Um, it made a lot of sense. He was more interested in video games. He was more interested in doing that type of stuff. And Magic the Gathering YouTubing is an expensive hobby. If you treat it as a hobby, then it's fine because I Pokemon Go, I spend $40 plus, plus a month on it for the, the uh, 520, 5200 gold coins. And that's fine to me because I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's, you know, a hobby and that just, that's kind of like a gym membership for me. But if you treat YouTube as a hobby, then the hobby has to be fun. As soon as a hobby does not become fun, there's no monetary incentive for at least my channel to stay.
right? That's the, that's the honest, honest truth. I'm having fun with the channel, but everyone has life difficulties. It's extremely, um, you know, I mean, I'll be honest, like uh, the relationship with me and my significant other is not the greatest right now because of, and you can point to, oh, you know, we're moving into a new home, we're moving out of a home, which is also a lot of, you know, expenses on that. We have to cut back a little bit. She is a student. Um, she's been in school for a long time, but she doesn't make any income. So whenever we're buying stuff, it's my money. And that is very taxing. So just to be straight up with you guys, you know, I'm looking at all of this stuff, right? I'm looking at my magic YouTube channel and seeing how much it actually costs because I don't know how much it costs. And I should know soon. Anyway, bye guys.